Okay. Alright, so in the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. I can still remember it. Clearly. All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked! Okay. You notice the anger is coming off a little harder right there? And so is the sadness, but yeah. Nope, that's not it, okay. Okay. When we view your emotions alongside your testimony, we find the unexpected emotion. Wait a minute. There really isn't anything strange here, actually. I don't know, but I think maybe we made a mistake, Mr. Wright. I think maybe you're right. Eh, <laughs> right. Let's take another look. Must be an un- yeah, okay. Why- wait. When you freaked, why'd you fr why don't you look freaked? What? When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, you freaked? Really? What are you getting at? With Mr. Plume as a witness, Orla was guaranteed to be accused of the murder. Didn't it work out exactly as you hoped? In order to have Orla put down, you made sure Mr. Plume witnessed that scene! Bye bye. So you figured it all out, did you, Mr. Rhymes? Are you admitting it? I didn't really want to have to fight anybody but the Orca, but you leave me no choice. Holy f Wait! Is that real? That ain't real. And... Uh... What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What is going on? Where did this pirate fellow come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks completely like a completely different person. Order. Order. If we don't have order, Prosecutor Black will you will yell at <laughs> I'm not worried about the Black Quill anymore, I think. <laughs> He's even oh, <laughs> Even Prosecutor Black Quill is at a loss for words. <laughs> um So I plan to have that winch be a witness. Uh, <laughs> Har! You caught me out! <laughs> it be true, I thought that Orca's murderous ways should be found out. That be why I schemed to have the plume to see the body. So you admit it? 
You deliberate you deliberately framed Orla? Arr, it be true. But what skin be that off of anybody's nose? That orca be a murdering scurvy dog. I may have a grudge against that orca, but I always felt grateful toward the captain. The orca murdered Azura and the captain, so of course she should walk the plank. Gah! I don't have a response to that! I agree, it wouldn't make any sense for him to kill the owner. Why would he? But his hatred for Orla, on the other hand, comes through loud and clear. Wait a minute. If killing Mr. Shipley doesn't make sense, who would it make sense for Rhymes to kill? It makes sense for frickin' Mr. Rhymes to kill the Orca. Maybe my th theory has been all wrong. Your Honor! I think I just became aware of a new fact. Oh? And what is that? Now that we know about Mr. Rhymes' intense hatred of Orla, so much so that he turns into a Ryu pirate, it turns the premise we've been arguing under on its ear. I will now reveal the identity of the individual Mr. Rhymes meant to kill from the start. What? So the witness's intent was to kill the orca? Exactly. The witness's intended victim was not Jack Shipley. From the start, it was all a scheme to kill Orla. The orca was his true target, but Jack Shipley is the one who died. The orca is alive and quite well. Hmm. He's right. He wanted to kill the Orca, and yet it was Jack Shipley who fell to his death. How did that happen? Wait a minute. What if... What if Mr. Rhymes wanted to, wanting to kill Orla was somehow connected to Mr. Shipley's death? At a loss for words, are you? What happened to your bravado of a moment ago? Enough of these reckless words, without any basis in fact. Objection! Objection! Objection. They aren't reckless words. Look at a friggin' reckless pirate! The basis of my clam, ha 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 ha, I'm surprised I didn't say that, is at the real murderer scene, the show pool. What are you talking about? It's my contention that two incidents happened at the show pool. The attempted murder of the orca and the victim falling to his death. First of all, in order to kill the orca, Mr. Rhymes removed something from the scene. And by doing so, he made it possible for Mr. Shipley to fall to his death. What did he remove? This is what Mr. Rhymes removed in an attempt to kill Orla. Well, obviously, the water. Don't tell me you're trying to claim he tried to kill the orca by draining the pool water. That's exactly what I'm claiming. To help the defendant with the cleaning, Marlon Rhymes took charge of Orla. With the plan to kill Orla in the show pool. And because the pool water was drained. It made it possible for Jack Shipley to fall to his death in the show pool. Oh, that's a mighty big... Oh my god, what are you doing to that poor Marlin? Or swordfish. Arr! 
I tried to kill the Orca, ye say. Can ye even prove that there was a nary of a drop of water in the pool? That day, I was simply looking after that Orca. <laughs> Why would I have the monstrous thought of killing it? I don't know, maybe because you have a freaking pirate hat on. Objection! <laughs> you claim you were looking after Orla in the early morning hours of July 20th. But I don't think you were doing a very good job at it. Oh! Phoenix just burned ya! After all, Orla wasn't given anything to eat during that time. How would ye know such a thing? That's right, he he wasn't been he hasn't been witnessing uh, what's been going on until he just arrived. <laughs> I know because of Orla's record in the torpedo data system. This system continuously records data on the subjects it monitors. From Orla's record, we can tell exactly when she ate or didn't eat. Sink me! Nobody ever told me about that dastardly contraption! Only a few of the ship-shape aquarium staff know about this system, namely the captain and the vet. According to Orla's record, she never ate in those early morning hours of the 20th. You plan to kill Orla, and that's why you didn't feed her. Silence. <laughs> You're wasting your time. What proof do you have of that? Perhaps the orca wasn't hungry. Ack! He's kind of right. I don't actually have any proof. Uh, if Orla simply didn't eat, then that would create an inconsistency. Where did her fish go? Her fish? Good question. Where did it disappear to? fish? What does it matter? What relevance does it have to the case? Cease this stalling by asking inconsequential questions. Stop delving into the depths of the orca's stomach and delve into the case instead. Objection! Objection. But wait, it may seem like a small inconsistency, but it's an issue of great importance. I think. What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? How could the fish disappear? Somebody must have eaten it. So who came to the show stage and ate Orla's food, fish? I think I might have a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, let's see. Yeah, yeah. A penguin, not a deadly weapon. I think that's the first time I've read that. <laughs> and that's why the fins are stained with blood, maybe? No. No, no, that's not right. But that would explain why... No? I, uh, uh, let's just keep going. I, maybe that'll make sense in a little bit. I believe there must have been a visitor to the show stage that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice. Visitor? Are you trying to introduce yet another suspect at this 11th hour? Wow, it's 11 o'clock? <laughs> if you utter more of your careless remarks, Taka won't look favorably upon it. I don't plan to utter any careless remarks. Whether my remarks will actually be related to this case or not, I don't know yet. Don't worry, boss. If Taka comes this way, I'll fend him off. But do try to keep your remarks careful. Somehow Orla's fish disappeared. Somebody must have visited the show stage. But who? This was the visitor at the show stage. I say it was Herman Crab. That's the visitor. I believe Dr. Crab visited the show stage. The witness from before? Do you have any basis for that claim? 
The fact that Orla's fish disappeared. He most likely decided to feed Orla some fresher fish. And took the old fish away somewhere. And I automatically went into this pose for some reason. Somewhere? Where? And where is this fresher fish he was going to give her? Where? Yes! Hmm! Yes! Oh, good question! Yes, let me just wave my finger around a little bit and wonder. Huh. Huh. Mr. Wright, there is no question about where this penalty is going! How did Orla's fish disappear? I'd better think of it about it a little more. Eh. This was the visitor that, that was at the show stage. Sasha! Sasha was the visitor. I believe that Sasha Buckler visited the show stage. The defendant? What basis do you have that claim? The fact that Orla's fish disappeared, of course. Miss Buckler must have eaten up all the fish meant for Orla. Yes, because she loves her fish. Is this some kind of jest? Do you actually believe the defendant ate the orca's fish? I believe it could be a possibility, wave my finger. No. No. I don't believe it could. <laughs> the judge is just not impressed at all. No. 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 Okay, we know who the real one was. I already pointed it out before this question was answered. So obviously, it was rifle. Seriously. I believe the rifle the penguin visited the show stage. First an orca, now a penguin? Why would ye be saying such a thing, Mr. Lawyer? I didn't see Rifle during the wee early hour, early morning hours. Do ye have any proof Rifle visited the show stage? If ye be a lawyer of any salt, show me your evidence. The bottom of Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. That fact is a clue that Rifle was indeed at the show stage. I have to present that piece of evidence that connects rifle to the show stage now to prove I'm a lawyer worth my salt this is the proof that rifle visited the show stage This is the proof. No lawyer be I. No lawyer be I. But even a pirate like me can tell that not be right. Arr. 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 Ahoy, what, what? Yo, 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 ho, ho. That evidence fake. You're a big disgrace. Ye be shark bait. Get out of my face. You're gonna make this this penalty last this long with a friggin' rhyme? Hmm. Yes. I quite agree. That evidence doesn't support your claim, Mr. Wright. Well, shiver me timbers, your honor. Ye have a fair sense of rap music. <laughs> the bottom of Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. That fact is a clue that Rifle was indeed at the show stage. Okay. 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 Okay.
know what the funny thing is? I was thinking about this evidence, like, for a little bit, like, whenever this first came up, but... It's kind of hard to show, too. But, yeah! They were supposed to be stars, but some of these don't look like stars, do they? Does that and that look like a star? Take that! Take that. Oh my! What a cute little sign! Look at all those adorable stars! These stars are actually starfish. Miss Buckler painted this sign. In the early morning hours of the 20th, she left this sign out at the stage show stage to dry. Mr. Rhymes kept an eye on the sign for Miss Buckler while the paint was drying. Aye, that be true, but what be your point? On the sign is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Proof of the ven penguin's visit? I'm afraid I don't see it! Where is the proof that the penguin visited the show- Oh, where is the proof the that the penguin visited the show stage? Please point it out! Um... Take that. that! A couple of pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. Ah, you're right! They almost look like little leaves. Rifle had some pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes of this sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dry. Ho oh, oh, ho! What cute little pink penguin prints! So there are footprints. What of them? Marlon Rhymes was watching over the sign at the show stage while this, while the paint dried, and during that time, the penguin paid a visit. According to the torpedo data system, we know that Rifle ate something that morning of the 20th. Most likely, Rifle ate the fish meant for Orla that was at the show stage. Orla's snack was a small quantity of fish. Even a penguin could have eaten it all. <clears throat> be, be gad! Rifle ate Orla's fish? Who be ye to say Orla ate Rifle ate Orla's fish? She could have have picked up food anywhere. But that doesn't change the fact that I was re really was at the sta show stage. After all, I had to help move the skull rock. It couldn't have been moved without me. Ha 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 The witness claims he never saw the penguin. How do you explain this contradiction? Both Mr. Rhymes and Rifle were at the show stage, but Mr. Rhymes didn't see her. So where could Mr. Rhymes have been at the time? Right, Dono. If you aren't up to the task, I could disprove this witness's testimony for you if you like. <laughs> if I leave it to Prosecutor Blackwell, Sasha will be declared guilty. I can't let him interrupt this line of reasoning. Mr. Wright, let's try to figure out how things looked when Rifle came to the show stage. Mr. Rhymes was at the show stage, keeping an eye on Orla and the sign. And we know it must be true, because he helped move the skull rock. And Rifle came in and walked over the sign. But wouldn't Mr. Rhymes notice Rifle if he was right there? Well, let's think about where Mr. Rhymes could have been. Is there a place in the show stage area from which Rifle couldn't have been seen? What? Inside the pool? But you're right. If he was inside the pool, he wouldn't have noticed Rifle. 
So are you saying Mr. Rhymes was underwater the whole time Rifle was eating? No. Not underwater. When I think about what he was trying to do with the... The answer is clear. Now I'm finally starting to get the whole picture. <laughs> Just like yesterday, you two must always be whispering to each other. Must you two? Why don't you admit that resorting to a penguin will get you nowhere? Objection! Objection! No. Oh, I don't know about that. The fact that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice Rifle is such a small inconsistency. But it's a key point that proves what Mr. Ry Rhymes was trying to do. The penguin is a key point. The show stage pool is very deep. If Rifle came to visit while Mr. Rhymes was at the bottom of this pool, he would have never noticed Rifle. <laughs> Orcas can be out of the water for a short time without sustaining damage. But if they're out of water for a long time, they weaken and eventually die. In order to kill Orla, Mr. Rhymes had to drain the pool. And while the pool was drained of water, Mr. Shipley fell to his death. The show stage pool is about 65 feet deep, just like the orca pool. Without water in the pool, a person could be made to fall 65 feet. Mr. Rhymes probably wondered what to do. If he continued with his plan to kill Orla, how would he dispose of Mr. Shipley's body? So he devised a plan to kill two birds with one stone. What? How? Mr. Rhymes went down to the bottom of the pool and put the victim's body in the rock. He then had Miss Buckler move the rock and the body together. Silence. And the witness made the defendant do this somehow without arousing her suspicion? That's right. Mr. Shipley told Miss Buckler that she couldn't perform in the new show. Miss Buckler became upset and wanted to switch back to the old version of the show. So Mr. Rhymes conveniently suggested that she take and hide a prop for the new show. Mr. Rhymes then manipulated Orla using singing and lifesaver tricks. He schemed to have Orla find the body while Mr. Plume would have been a standing witness. He saddled Orla with a false charge of murder so that Orla would be put down. What? So, the fact that the witness didn't see the penguin? Shows that when Rifle visited the show stage, Rhymes was putting the body in the rock! At the bottom of the pool, that is. Who would have thought the presence of a penguin could have been the witness's action? Prove the witness's action! It's working! Just a little further now, and Sasha will be proven not guilty! Silence. If you think you've won this battle, you are sorely mistaken. <sighs> Your theory is based on the notion that the witness could manipulate the orca. Witness, can you control the orca's actions? Now, are you seriously going to ask the witness that is now a prime suspect that? That's the most stupid question you could ask someone that is going to be accused of murder or something. I don't even know because I don't know if he's really killed the... Like, he drained the pool to try to kill the whale, but 
Mr. Shipley fell in, so I don't know if that counts as murder if Shipley accidentally fell into the pool or not, but are you seriously going to try to ask him that? You know what his answer is going to be. Yeah, exactly. Of course not. What kind of a bilge be that? I be a put, but a simple animal keeper. Ha 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 ha. If my memory serves, wasn't Miss Buckler the only one who could issue commands to the Orca? Are you freaking kidding me with this? Oh, come on! <laughs> the judge's blade is sharper than the lawyer's. If you wish to do battle with a witness, you'll need a hone blade. Where is your sword of evidence that Marlin Rhymes could manipulate the Orca? Gah! Ah! God dang it! Rhymes had to have manipulated. Rhymes had to have manip manipulated Orla in order for his plan to work. But how can I prove that? Well, it appears this line of reasoning has become unsustainable. Objection! Well, it appears I was mistaken. <laughs> uh, Athena? I've analyzed the hearts of all kinds of people. I have enough experience to see when I look into your heart that you haven't given up. So that objection was my way of speaking up for your heart. Hmm. She's right. Why would I become a lawyer again, only to give up? I have to keep fighting! Athena. Thank you. With your help, I've remembered the old right way. The right way? Yes, the right way. Your Honor, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished with presenting my argument. Hmm. Do you have anything else to ask this witness? You've cross-examined a witness and presented all your evidence. Objection! Objection! All the witnesses? Hmm. I don't think so. I haven't cross-examined the most important one the central figure in both cases. The central figure? The one involved in not only the case a year ago, but this current case too. Yeah, that's right. I've never called her a witness, as a witness, but it's time to do so now. With or without the judge's consent. Who are you talking about? I demand you tell the court immediately! Who is the central figure in both cases? The central figure of this case, whether you like it or not, is... Or Shipley! The defense calls the central figure in both cases, Orla the Orca! You intended to cross-examine an Orca? Arr! Cross-examine an Orca? He must be addled. It'd be impossible, says I. Silence. This absurdity is beyond the pale. How do you expect to question an orca? A creature incapable of speech. Objection! Objection! Orla's intricately involved in this case. I have every right to cross-examine her. Besides, even if she can't speak, I think cross-examining her will be invaluable. Very well. Do what you will, then. But if you fail to garner anything from this little exercise with the Orca, I hope you realize the reward for your efforts will be the defendant's guilty verdict. I'm ready and confident. So, 
Cross-examining or Orla, huh? That was a bold move, boss. Now all we have to do is figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated Orla! That's right. Now it's Orla's turn to help us save Sasha. An orca defendant yesterday. An orca witness today. This is truly unprecedented. But even though this is highly unusual, I'm prepared to allow it, even if, if I denied it before. Bailiff, ready the witness telecast. We'll have a 10 minute recess while the telecast is being set up. And so we get the to be continued thing, but I'm going to keep continuing after I take a six minute break because it's 12.54 and I deserve to have a break. And also, uh, I want, uh, like, I'm hoping that this does not last as long as, like, I hope it lasts, it probably won't last as long as, like, the last trial's second half because that was, like, what, an hour? But, uh... Hopefully it doesn't last three more hours. Let's just put it that way because it's 12.55 right now. So I've gone through this first part for three hour, three hours-ish. Isn't that fun? That's really fun. Catch you all next time! <laughs> uh, uh.